Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough for Alveol. This was developed by Emil Ismailov and Dennis Petrov and published by Sometimes You. This is stackable with a Xbox XS version as well. So you can use this for both guides. The XS version clocks in at roughly 200 meg more than it's Xbox One version, but couldn't in all honesty tell you what the graphical differences are. So really simple gameplay in this. Press A to start, you spin the wheel, and you have different ways of doing things to obtain the achievements. So straight off the bat, you can press LB at any point once the object in the top left hand corner appears to get the detective photo card you also notice that there is a calendar that's how many runs of the game you have to do to unlock one of the achievements there and you also notice a pair of goggles on the right or glasses if you will that crack every time you hit one of the barriers. You can tell the ones you've unlocked as you'll see a photo card appear. So we can see there are two cracks. Then a third crack, and then we get coward for not jumping over the barrier at all. If you do at any point mess up, it just continues to cycle and doesn't give an achievement and sets you back to the beginning. So, you know, if you do somehow mess up, it's no biggie. Another achievement is if we hold A for about 10 to 15 seconds, we get the fast space achievement, which is for jumping as high as you can. also get an achievement for going back to our profile and coming back into the game. We will unlock the welcome back card. I have got a guide of this up on sure achievements as well, so I will leave the text there. And I'll also post it in the comments, but, you know, there's not much to this gameplay. It's quite literally a case of jump over the barriers, stumble over the barriers. Um, you know, it's a pretty simple concept. It's nice, easy, 2000 if you buy both versions. Just could be a tad slow to barriers to spawn. There's always seven barriers, so just make a mental count of how many you've gone over. I'm gonna do right, so I'm going to show you guys the winner achievement now that's jumping over all seven barriers. Just make sure you give yourself enough time to jump over them. That was pretty easy. It's not much to it, quickly. <laughs> Do this big old hamster wheel. As soon as you get the 16 postcards, he will literally sit down and call it a day as well, so. There we go then, that's winner for jumping over all seven cards. 
it's probably the hardest one is jumping over all of them. Not that any of these achievements are hard, but. So I'll show you purposeful now. This is awarded for hitting the first two barriers and then jumping over the next five. Obviously, you can tell by how cracked the glasses are. So two cracks in the glasses means you get two. Just make sure you give yourself plenty of time to clear the jump. For this one, you can tell if you clip the barrier because your glasses will refresh and not show as being cracked. That's purposeful then for messing that first two jumps up. Right, so to get the Lazy Bones achievement, what you need to do is if you look to your left, you will see a monitor with a pulse on it. If it pulses, you jump. If it doesn't pulse, you crash into the barrier. So, so it's pulsed there, so we jump over. From the two runs that I've done, it's always pulsed on the first four jumps. and not for the last three. Okay, so that's the first four where it's pulsed. Notice there's no pulse. Here we go, lazy bones for jumping the first one, hitting the last three because there's in pulse. going to do kangaroo now so it's literally just repeatedly press A. You need to do it about 17 times is what I counted on my first two runs. That's an ideal one to save if you're in mid run and you mess up like the jump one. So we're going to do hopscotch now, which is alternating between jumping to barriers and crashing them. So we want to jump the first one and then crash into the second and rinse and repeat. Jump the first barrier. Crash into the second.
Think we've got hopscotch for alternating. Then we're going to go and do student now, which involves crashing into the first barrier and jumping the next six. One thing I like about the achievements is, um, you know, it does show that I put some thought in, you know, between alternating or, you know, only jumping when prompted or, you know, simply not jumping at all. So. student for then as described in the beginning hit the first one jump the next six so we're going to get imperfect now which involves us jumping over the first two barriers crashing into the third and then jumping over the last four Jump. Jump. Crash into the third. Pick up the next four. Then it's imperfect. The next we're going to do stumble, which involves us jumping over the first barrier, crashing into the next two, and jumping over the last four. We go and stumble for that. The 
now that our calendar has gone fully down, we will instantly unlock the hard work card. See our this is coming down nicely. So now we are going to do Adventurer, which involves us crashing into the first barrier, jumping over the next five, and then crashing into the last one. Just wish there was an option to spawn the next barrier that make life a lot quicker. But that's adventurer for on then weakling. I did find this one to be a tad temperamental, and that involves jumping over the first six barriers and crashing into the last. Then you unlock collector, which will also be your final achievement. So that's the first barrier. Second barrier. Third barrier. Fourth barrier. Fifth barrier. Sixth barrier, and then finally our seventh barrier. That will unlock weakling. Then, once we've done that, we will unlock collector, which will be our last achievement. And there we go, then that is our four one thousand G. Pretty simple game, nice easy files and thank you all for watching this video, please like and subscribe for future videos.